Quack Attack Gaming. Game on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your host, Quack with Amen. And this is the bonus video for the Turtles 3 Manhattan Project video. We said we was going to show you a video of the NES Arcade, which was called 2. Yep. The first one really sucked. Some of them swear by it. All right, here we go. Now we fire. Yeah, no voice acting. Now we do. I uh, have. Why were your sides purple? I have no idea. Now in this one, we will not be using infinite lives because it is just a bonus. Yeah. I don't know if we'll even survive much. All right. And I think we should be able to get through Bebop. Well, because be if I remember right, I think Bebop's the first boss in this one. Yeah, because he comes up through the drill. Yes, he comes up through the drill on the floor, and then the second boss is Rocksteady. Now, what's weird is, you would think that being an idiot's port, that this would have less levels. But no, actually, this has two bonus levels. Because I know in the direct port for the XBLA that came out years ago, it was a direct port. It no went, bonus level. No, there was no bonus levels, nothing. That it went uh, Bebop, Rocksteady, then the next level it went Bebop and Rocksteady, and then on to the Shredder. Okay. You can definitely tell def definite graphics downgrade. So I want to hear what everyone else's favorite turtle game, because I don't know. I don't mind it has to be three. Not against Turtles of Time. It's just three is the one we had the longest as kids. What did we get one, then three, or three? I think we got three, then then one, because if you remember right, it's as as was indicated previously in the Turtle 3 videos that mom and dad would primarily concerned in getting us stuff that we could play together to avoid Right, and, and the original Turtle game was not multi- okay. No, it was not multiplayer friendly at all. Jump kick, it helps get you over. There's one life down. <laughs> There's one life down for me. We should be approaching the door soon. Yeah, I think we actually see some chomps before we actually yeah, go through yeah, the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but well, I think they're not chomps, they're just those little electro robot thingies. I thought those were called chomps. No, those are those little... The, the me mechanic chompers are the ones that were the ones that looked like little... Mini, mini, tiny raptors. Come on. One difference that should be noted in particular whenever it comes to this this uh, port over is that there is no specials. Well, there is if you hit both buttons at the same time. I just hit both buttons. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, it has to be dead on. But they ain't anything, yeah. Yeah. Blonk. Now we see a little... Yep, we are on the screen. Yep. Oh, God. This was one memorable screen when you're in the arcade. Yes. 
because this was one of the games that back in back in childhood, it there was four sticks on the arcade machine. It you was, did not get the choose your turtle from a character select screen. It all depended on what stick you were able to get. Yep, Bebop. Is there any reason that back in the day, whenever cartoon characters or video game characters passed, have got knocked out, that they saw stars? Was there any real purpose to that? Or better yet, flashing. Well, that was just graphical limitations of the systems. Well, the thing is, even more than slide bars, and there we go, Shredder. I remember that screen, but a lot more. Come on, after that trailer creep. Oh, I remember this stage. Yeah, but watch, if I fall down. Yep, who turned the lights out? Yeah, but see, the thing is, is that that's even grammatically incorrect as compared to the arcade. Well, it was who turned out the lights. You gotta get a second. Who put out the lights? Okay, I was going to make sure the game actually had good grammar. Well, I mean, grammatically it's correct, but if you look at it, dude, with whenever you actually get to take into consideration the arcade grammar. Oh, some of those were bad. I mean, look at uh, Magneto. I mean, Magneto, welcome to die. We're about to see if there's a continue function. I just now noticed this. Is it me or is Raphael and Donatello? Nope. Nope. They Donatello was a darker shade of green than Raphael. Possible. <coughs> Should be a pizza up here. Yes. I don't know if I, I'll be able to last this level. Get your quarters out, bro. Right. I don't think I have any. Why not? Well, I don't think modern computers. <laughs> I remember that. Excuse me. <laughs> that girl will drive by if you swipe at her, she'll scream. Well, whenever, whenever you, whenever a random turtle just whacks her with a stick. Have you ever wondered where they came up with the sound that they used to indicate that you hit something? Ow! <laughs> that was in the first stage as well. Was it really? Yes. It was on one of the walls about halfway through. Uh, 
I don't think that was in the original. Give me another pizza, please! No! Let's keep jumping! See, even our dog just proves a turtle abuse. He held me to death. Continue? I'd say we could probably go a little bit longer. Alright, we'll continue. With fresh lives, thank you. See, look, there are two different hues of green. Yeah, I see that. I want to know where also where all these foot clan come from. Like as I stated in the prior video, it, it, I think it was the water level. Are they just all hanging up about going? Hey, uh, I hope I hope the turtles come by today. Uh, well, see the thing is, since we actually did the last video, I actually dug out my DVD of Turtles Three, and the game actually goes completely counter counterintuitive to the movie itself. Well, yeah, Turtle 3 was the Turtles of Time, which was the fourth one. Or, no, or was it Turtles 2 where they where they go up against Super Shredder and Toka and Razor? 2. Secret well, two. yeah, well, irregardless, in that movie in particular, they showed that the Foot clan itself is actually a clan of ninjutsu trained individuals. Not robots. Not robots. So, the idea of the Foot Clan being robots is completely unfounded. Well, I guess you could say that, because even in the movies, uh, the TMNT movie, the animated one that people didn't like, but it's better than uh, Michael Bay's crap. You get up there and get the pizza and prolong your life a little bit. God, I hate Michael Bay's crap. Trying to make them aliens. Well, number one, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles never had noses. He gave them noses. Well, smack you on the butt. <laughs> Good job. Well, I mean, technically they do got noses. They have vent holes, but still, they're not as pronounced as Michael Bay's films would make, would make them. And I also have a problem with the Turtles animated cartoon they have now. Well, my whole problem with Teenage with TMNT currently is that they killed Donatello. My favorite turtle. They killed Donatello and they brought in a female turtle again. From what I'm Well, they always had a female turtle. No, they didn't. Yeah, there was a short period of time. That yeah, was... but that was on the live action show. That wasn't in the comic. Damn feminazis. Well no, that was even before Anita Sargesian and all the and the feminist movement really became big. That there was a female turtle and she wore a sky blue sash. I can't remember her name though. That's how insignificant the character was. Alright, first person to lose their lives looks it up. Why don't you just tell me you look it up as soon as you lose all your freaking lives? Oh boy. Incoming Bebop as soon as Foot Clan gone. Who, t who put out the lights? Please. 
least he's not having a whirly gig. I thought your name was Crystal, though. Well, see, asking if you know the name of the female mutant TMNT character is like asking somebody if they know the name of the Ghostbusters uh, secretary. Well, that's one well more. Well, no. Okay, once Wikia will pull up, I'll be able to tell you. As I struggle to beat Rocksteady. And I'm dead. Alright, we'll just go back. Give us a sec here. And that is... Google... It was Venus DeMello from what I'm finding. Yep, it was Venus DeMello. I guess I was wrong. So, with all that being said, I hope you loved the bonus video. Until next time, have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, whatever time it is you have. Uh, bleh. Whatever time it is, you have a great one. Essentially, what he's saying is, peace up, A-Town down. down.